Hi, my name is Suzanne LeBlanc, and I'm the Director of Clinical Relationships at the Focused Ultrasound Foundation. Thank you for attending the 2022 Awareness Event, and I look forward to updating you on our progress in treating epilepsy. Focused Ultrasound has received increasing attention in the field of epilepsy, as evidenced by this picture on the cover of Theranostics, a highly reputable peer-reviewed journal. Hippocrates, who is the father of medicine, and many of you know the Hippocratic Oath or the Code of Conduct for Physicians, but did you also know that he was the first one to understand that epilepsy starts in the brain? And his quote is, men think epilepsy divine merely because they do not understand it. We will one day understand what causes it and then cease to call it divine. And so it is with everything in the universe. Now seizures are defined as episodes of convulsion, sensory disturbance, loss of consciousness, and caused by abnormal firing of neurons. In the United States, one out of every 26 people could have epilepsy and 3.4 million have active epilepsy. Worldwide, it can affect 65 million people. It's the fourth most common neurologic disease and it can either be focal or generalized. Most often, the seizures are caused by tumors, mesial temporal lobe epilepsy, trauma, or stroke. Most patients with epilepsy respond to pharmacologic treatment. However, those that don't respond have other treatment options. Unfortunately, they may involve invasive surgeries like craniotomies where you remove a portion of the skull and take out part of the brain. And on this MRI picture, you can see how part of the brain that was removed here in white now just fills in with fluid. There are now minimally invasive procedures where instead of taking out the whole portion of the skull, they create a little hole in the skull called a burr hole, which is shown here in black. And through that small burr hole, they can insert a catheter and deliver focal heat therapy like laser interstitial therapy. And in this picture, the targeted area is in orange. And you can see that the ablated region after heating matches the area of the targeted region exactly. However, it still involves inserting something foreign into the brain and has risks of infection and bleeding. There's also permanently implanted stimulators that you can place in the body to control seizures. Vagus nerve stimulation is one type where you can implant a catheter or a stimulator into the neck near the vagus nerve or deep brain stimulation where you permanently put something into the brain. Now, what's really exciting is now we can do surgery in the brain without any incisions with focused ultrasound. So there's a few ways we can do this. You can do it inside an MR guided focused ultrasound machine where the patient goes inside the MRI machine. They have a helmet around their head and that helmet delivers multiple ultrasound beams that are directed to a specific target in the brain. Let's say the seizure focus to destroy it. You can also do focused ultrasound procedures outside an MRI machine by using a previously performed MRI study where the pictures are downloaded into a computer and help direct a focused ultrasound transducer, which is shown here on the patient's head, to the correct location. Again, no incisions at all. Now, how does focused ultrasound treat epilepsy? Well, there are two main mechanisms of action of focused ultrasound, and you can think of it this way. You can use it as a form of thermal energy where you raise the temperature. And if you raise the temperature to over 60 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit, you can create so much heat that you destroy tissue in that region. And it's similar to when you take a magnifying glass out in the sun and you make the rays converge at a focal spot on the leaf and it catches on fire. We can direct the focused ultrasound beam to places deep in the body or the brain and ablate the tissue in that region, such as a seizure focus. Another mechanism of action of focused ultrasound is using a mechanical application. And there's several different ways we can do that. But for epilepsy, we're exploring neuromodulation where we affect the way the nerve functions. We can take a nerve that's functioning too slow and make it go faster, or we can take a nerve that's functioning too fast and make it fire slower. Another way is through blood brain barrier opening. And this is really exciting. We can use a focused ultrasound beam to make injected microbubbles oscillate, get bigger and smaller, which opens the blood brain barrier and lets medication like shown here in purple, go right through the blood brain barrier into a targeted region of the brain to affect change. And I'll tell you a little bit about this later. Now for using the thermal mechanism of action shown here, there are four clinical trials currently using the MR guided focused ultrasound machine by InsightTech. And these trials are ablating lesions such as hypothalamic hamartomas or medial temporal sclerosis. 
They're ablating these kinds of tumors in adults and children. We can also ablate a tract in the brain called the mammalothalamic tract, which is in the anterior thalamus to control secondary generalized seizures or even to treat focal onset seizure activity and its anxiety. So let me show you a few cases. Here's a case of a hypothalamic hamartoma. It's a deep seated benign tumor, oftentimes in young patients and the brain as shown here in this white little circle at the tip of the red arrow. So we can use the focused ultrasound machine to elevate temperature in that region to thermally ablate the lesion. Again, all the tissue around it is intact, but in this case, we treated this hypothalamic hamartoma remnant and the patient improved significantly. We can also target that anterior thalamic region, the mammalothalamic tract, to prevent secondary generalization of focal onset epilepsy. And these tracts are tiny. You can see here in the picture to the left, there are these two little black dots where the right arrows are. And this is shown in the axial, coronal, and sagittal projection. So we can use the focused ultrasound machine to target these small areas to decrease seizures. Now, mesial temporal lobe epilepsy occurs in about 60% of all people with epilepsy, and most of them have something called mesial temporal sclerosis, where some of the tissue changes in configuration and causes the seizures. Now, one third of all patients with mesial temporal lobe epilepsy, or up to 190,000 in the US alone, still suffer from drug-resistant epilepsy and need other therapeutic options. They can have surgery or the laser interstitial therapy, and possibly in the future, they may need something that's completely non-invasive like focused ultrasound. So in this case report, where an MR-guided focused ultrasound machine tried to thermally ablate that mesial temporal sclerosis deep in the brain in this location, they couldn't raise the temperature enough to ablate the tissue, but the patient improved. So they hypothesized that even subablative temperatures are probably causing a neuromodulation effect and improving the seizures. So this has led to us exploring neuromodulation as a method of focused ultrasound treatment for seizures. And there are four clinical trials going on right now with various machines. There's a study at Brigham and Women's Hospital using their own proprietary machine. Brain Sonics is a company that's using it in research at UCLA and Massachusetts General Hospital. And the Navaflus machine is being used in Taiwan. Now, because of the interest in this field, researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital have written a 2022 review describing low intensity focused ultrasound for epilepsy, a new approach to neuromodulation. Now these centers at Brigham and Women's Hospital in UCLA have reported some of their initial findings in targeting the temporal lobe with neuromodulation and the early results are promising. Now, this was a very interesting study that was recently reported in looking at focused ultrasound for drug-resistant epilepsy. And what they did was they performed focused ultrasound to a seizure focus and monitor the neuronal activity with implanted electrodes, okay? So what they found was that these electrodes allowed them to study what was happening during the focused ultrasound treatment. The focused ultrasound was delivered to the seizure focus without any significant adverse events. And the focused ultrasound resulted in significant changes in the spectral power of those intracranial EEG monitors. So we finally have an idea of what's going on inside an alive brain while we're doing focused ultrasound neuromodulation. So what can we do in the future that could be very exciting? Well, there's something called precise intracerebral non-invasive guided surgery or PING. And there've been several reports on this in the literature. And let me tell you what it does because it's very interesting. It's almost like a chemical ablation, okay? So let's pick a part of the brain and here are some structures. There's some glial cells in the Y-shaped black structures are actually uh, neuronal cell bodies. We have these uh, efferent and afferent tracts shown in blue here. Uh, the ventricles of the brain shown in green. So if we decide that there's a seizure focus, let's say in this peach area of the brain, and we want to ablate it, we want to get rid of that seizure focus. We can do thermal ablation to that region, but as described before, when we do thermal ablation to that region, everything will die inside that targeted area. The neuronal cell bodies, the glial cells, the blood vessels, um, everything will die in that region. But we really only want to affect how the neurons are functioning. So imagine if we did this procedure called PING, we can open the blood-brain barrier with focused ultrasound and deliver a medicine like quinolonic acid directly to this targeted area where the seizure focus is. 
And that quinolinic acid will preferentially kill only the neuronal cell bodies that are causing the seizures and leave all the other normal structures intact. So it's very, very specific form of ablation. Very exciting. So in conclusion, uh, I hope I've showed you that focused ultrasound could potentially be an additional treatment or an alternative to an existing treatment in various forms of epilepsy. The focused ultrasound mechanisms of action include thermal ablation and neuromodulation, and we look forward to further exploring blood-brain barrier opening with drug delivery with PING. And the Focus Ultrasound Foundation continues to support ongoing preclinical, technical, and clinical research. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.